So hello and welcome to this uh, Adobe Animate uh, tutorial and uh, I am going to show you how you can create this uh, HTML5 animated uh, banner. Uh, one thing that I want to mention is that in this tutorial I am not going to show you how you can adjust this for the Google AdWords but I am going to provide the link in the description for the tutorial where I am showing that. And one thing that I want to say is that I also created kind of a similar tutorial in After Effects uh, where I am showing you how you can create these uh, self-drawing uh, self shapes. But yeah, in this uh, tutorial we are going to do this one and I am going to provide the tutorial in the After Effects in the description. And I also created uh, the same tutorial in Spanish, uh, this exact uh, animated banner, and I am also going to provide that in the description. So yeah, right now we can start. So right now I am on the site Freepik and I am going to give you a link in the description and I am also going to give you PNG images that I am going to create. So all you need to do right now is uh, click download and uh, go with free download and you can save it to your PC. I'm going to hit cancel because I already did this. Uh, one thing that I want to mention is that if you want to use this commercially, uh, you will have to attribute the author or go premium on the free pick. Uh, but yeah, uh, right now I will go to the place where I have it and I will have a zip file and I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose extract here. This is going to give me some files and I'm going to double click on this EPOS uh, file and it is going to open me this in Adobe Illustrator. Alright, so right now I am in the Adobe Illustrator and I can zoom in, I can zoom in and zoom out uh, with Alt and Mouse wheel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create new document, so Ctrl N or you can go File New. And I'm going to go with the specific size, which is like Google AdWords banner size, which is going to be... Uh, 970 by 250 and uh, I do not want to change anything I want this to be RGB screen 72 and so on so I'm just going to hit uh, create uh, now I am going to go in here and what I'm going to do or what I could do is I'm going to double click and uh, then I'm going to try to move this but I do not want this with the shadow so I'm going to double click one more time until I will get uh, to this like so and right now I am going to drag this uh, to the new document that I created and I can select it and with uh, shift uh, I can make this little bit uh, bigger. Uh, now we can go ahead and also get this, uh, now I am going to double click anywhere else to go to the initial position and now I am going to double click on this uh, text so I am going to double click and right now I am going to drag this to the new document like so and also I can make this little bit uh, bigger and uh, right now this uh, stars it depends on you uh, but uh, I am going to get them also uh, so the banner is going to be a little bit more interesting but this is not something which is necessary uh, now I am going to open my Adobe Animate and I will see you there in a moment Alright, so right now I am in the Adobe Animate and I am going to go with the same width and height and uh, 970 by 250. I want this to be 24 uh, frame rate, HTML5 canvas and I am going to hit uh, create. Uh, now uh, we have a few options, I show this in uh, some of my tutorials. Uh, what we could do is we can just go ahead and uh, drag this from the Adobe Illustrator uh, to the Adobe Animate. And uh, in here we are going to have uh, two options. One of them is going to be paste as uh, bitmap, which uh, is uh, fine, but this is sometimes going to be blurry a little bit. So I don't like to do it this way. So I'm going to delete it and I'm also going to delete it from the library because it also put it to the library. And what we could do is uh, drag this to the Adobe Animate and right now go, go with this paste using I file importer preferences which is fine but sometimes I have a little issue when I do this this way so what uh, I'm going to hit cancel what I prefer to do is uh, go to the Photoshop and save this as a PNG from the Photoshop and then use PNG in, uh, in Adobe Animate. So yeah, I will open my Photoshop and I will see you, see you there. But as I said, I am going to provide you these uh, PNGs in the description. So right now I am in the Photoshop and I am going to go one more time, uh, 970 by 250. And I want this uh, as it is, pixel 72, RGB and so on. So I'm just going to hit uh, create. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, drag this uh, from, the, from the Illustrator to the Photoshop. Uh, okay, uh, so I am just going to, uh, uh, one thing that we can do, 
uh, actually is uh, I am going to click on this and it is a fill color and uh, when we have fill color we cannot make this like go wider but what I can do is I can double click on the fill and I'm going to copy this uh, color and I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to go to the stroke in here and I'm going to double click and I'm going to paste the color and I'm going to click OK and right now my stroke is going to be the same color sometimes it happens that it put me this uh, white so in that case do it one more time but yeah it should work and now I will go to the properties and I'm going to make the stroke bigger uh, to make it uh, like uh, so. If you do not see properties or anything, you can go to the window and get it. Uh, but yeah, now I am going to drag this uh, like it is uh, to the Photoshop, so like uh, this. And I am just going to click enter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this background. So right now this is going to be transparent. And I will go to the file. I will go to the export, export S. And we are going to export this as a PNG. We do not want this smaller file. So do not check this. Uh, we want this to be PNG. We do not want to change anything. So I'm just going to click export. And I am going to go to the place where I want to save this. So I am going to... Uh, have it in here, uh, tutorial, uh, images, and uh, I am going to click, uh, I am going to call this to be uh, hard, and I am going to save this, and right now I am going to go to the Adobe Animate, and I will go to the place uh, where I save this, so images, and I am going to drag it to the Adobe Animate like uh, so. So as I said, you can do this also uh, from the directly from the Illustrator, but sometimes Adobe Animate creates some kind of issue, and uh, yes, yeah, so this is the for me most secure way of doing things. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I am going to extend the timeline for this one. So I will go maybe to the frame uh, 100 and I'm going to click F5 or you can right click and you can insert the frame. Now I am going to create a new layer. And with this uh, new layer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a brush. It is in here, classic brush tool. And right now I have an option for the fill color. This really doesn't matter because we are just going to create a mask. So I can go with the green one, for, green one, for example. And uh, yeah, now I can make this brush uh, bigger or I can make it smaller. But for some reason, it doesn't appear in here. It is like the same when I put it small or when I put it big, but when I put it big, it's big and when I put it small, it's obviously smaller. So I will go maybe with something like 25, but this depends on you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a little bit. And uh, right now what I'm going to do, it is going to create me this uh, timeline and I'm going to simply click F6 and it is going to move me to the next keyframe and I'm going to draw like six, uh, like this and then F6 one more time and like this, I am going to be drawing. For now, I am going to delete this because I want to show you something that could happen and I am going to create new layer and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything like so with the shift and I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose remove uh, frames and now I will go in here so I have only one uh, frame in here and I will go to the brush tool and I will go, what's going on? I will go to the brush tool and I will draw. And now if I'm going to click F6 one more time, nothing is going to happen. So I would have to go manually in here, F6 and like so, but right now it is not going to create me a new keyframe. So in this case, what I would have to do is extend this with the F5 like so. But I'm going to delete this and one more time, I'm going to create new layer and I will go to the beginning and I'm going to draw this like so and right now with the F6 I am going to draw it like this. Uh, when you are going to draw it like so, like a lot of, it is going to be very fast and if you are going to draw only very little part, it is going to be slow. So I am going to draw it uh, like so, only, only little part and yeah. So probably I do not need to show you the whole process, basically I will go up in here like so and like this and I will see you when I am going to finish this. Alright, so I am almost done, only few more keyframes and like this and like this. Okay, so right now we are going to have something like this. I am going to hit Ctrl Enter to see this in the browser. 
but uh, yeah, and we are going to have something like this, uh, which uh, for now is uh, not very good. So what we need to do right now is uh, we are going to go to this. I have this layer four because I deleted previous layers, but maybe you are going to have this as a layer two, but it doesn't matter. I will just uh, right click and I am going to click mask. And right now it is going to do the magic and we are going to have this like so. I am going to hit control enter and uh, yeah, this is uh, what we are going to have uh, now. What I will do is uh, not, 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 I will click anywhere and I'm going to change the stage color. So I'm going to click on the stage and I'm going to choose maybe this kind of color uh, so that when we hit control enter, we are going to be able to see uh, where is our canvas uh, now. Uh, this uh, process I am probably not going to show you all, but I am going to get also uh, the this text and these stars from the Photoshop. So what I'm going to do in the Photoshop right now is I'm going to create a new document. So I'm going to go with Ctrl N and uh, for the stars I will go maybe uh, 500 by 500 like uh, so. And I'm going to hit uh, create and I'm going to drag uh, the stars. Uh, from the Photoshop to the from the Illustrator to the Photoshop like so maybe I can make this little bit bigger uh, be, without the shift so just drag this like so and then what I could do is I could go to the crop tool which is C and I can make this in here a little bit uh, bigger uh, like so or uh, in here a little bit smaller uh, but yeah something like uh, something like this and okay and right now the same way I'm going to save this I'm not going to show you this I will save this and I will skip this and uh, for the for the text uh, I am going to this uh, happy Valentine's Day I am going to create Control N, maybe which is going to have with I don't know 400 by uh, 200. Later on, we can crop this. I'm going to hit uh, create and I'm going to uh, drag this. This is uh, the height is uh, not necessary to have as much, but I think that uh, something like this is fine. So right now I can uh, do this with the crop tool like so and yeah. So one more time I will have to uh, hide the background and I'm going to save this one. I'm going to save this one and when I'm done, I will see you in Adobe Animate. Alright, so right now I am in the Adobe Animate and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer and on this new layer I'm going to get the stars like so and I'm going to position them where I want. One thing is that if you do not see things which are outside of the stage, you can click this clip uh, content uh, outside of the stage and uh, that way you are going to be able to see things which are outside of the stage. Right now, uh, if I'm going to zoom in, you are going to be able to see because they are like very dark, but if I click this, we won't be able to see them when if I click one more time we will be able to see them but yeah and now one more time uh, one thing is that it is going to put me a keyframe uh, in here because I was with my timeline on that place so I'm just going to click on that keyframe and drag it to the beginning and I am going to create the new layer and I will <laughs> go to the place where I have this and I'm going to get the text in here like so and uh, and yeah. Uh, now one thing, one little not, it's not issue, but, but when I made this in the Photoshop, I cannot scale it right now because it would lose the quality. So if you would like to have this bigger, you would have to make this bigger in the Photoshop. But for me, it's now it's good as it is. So right now uh, I am just going to click control enter to see this in the browser and we are going to have something like this. Very well. Uh, now what I am going to do is I am going to uh, get the brush. So this brush, I just downloaded this uh, from the Google. I am not owner, owner of this. I didn't create it, uh, but I'm going to provide you this uh, in the description anyway. But you can just download any brush from the FreePig or from any place. Just make sure that you are uh, free to use it. Uh, for the commercial use if you want to use it that way. But yeah, I will create a new layer and I will go ahead and drag this to the Adobe Animate. It is going to be very big. I could have scaled this in the Photoshop and make it smaller because we want to have as small size as possible, but I didn't. So I think that uh, yeah, 
<laughs> but what I'm going to do is I am just going to scale this with the shift uh, to some reasonable size. I think that something like this is fine, maybe a little bit smaller. And what I'm going to do is I am going to position this keyframe to the beginning and I am going to rotate it. So free transform tool or Q and just rotate it like uh, so, or you can rotate it as you want. And I'm going to position this in here. And now what I'm going to do is one more time, the same as with the drawing, I will go to the beginning and I'm going to click F6. It is going to create me new keyframe and I'm going to move this like so. One thing right now that is going to happen is it is going to select me the whole layer. It doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes. So right now, if I would click F6, it would create the keyframes for everything. I do not want it. So I'm just going to click anywhere to deselect it. Then one more time F6 and I'm going to move this and like uh, so. So if I'm going to click on this timeline in here and I'm going to create keyframe in here, it is not going to be selecting me this, uh, but yeah. So one more time, oh, frame by frame, we are just going to create a keyframe with X, F6 and we are going to move this uh, every time. So yeah, I think that uh, it's not necessary that I show you the whole process. You will be able to do this. So I am going to skip this and I will see you when I'm done with this. Alright, so I am almost done. Few more keyframes like this, uh, like this, and uh, yeah. Uh, we are uh, we are done. So right now I'm going to play this control enter to see this in the browser and we are going to have something like this. Okay, I think that uh, this is uh, this is fine. And uh, once we created uh, this kind of animation, uh, we are not able to make this like uh, faster, but we could make this slower. So what I'm going to do is uh, let me get rid of this uh, additional keyframe in here. So shift, shift F6 or you can right click uh, clear uh, keyframe. And what I could do is I am going to click on this one with uh, shift on this one and I can drag this uh, like uh, so. So right now this is going to make me the uh, animation a little bit uh, so slower, but this is not uh, maybe the best way because right now uh, if I go to the Adobe Animate, I can see that we have like we have keyframe frame, then we have keyframe, then we have nothing, keyframe, keyframe, nothing, and so on. So the better way would be to draw uh, only uh, even a little less part every every keyframe, but yeah, for now, I am not going to do this this way, but uh, you you could do it that way. Uh, but uh, yeah, basically, this is it. I just want to show you that if you are going to have something like this, I'm going to click F5, uh, additional, uh, additional frames in here, or you can just uh, select them like so. So right click and uh, remove frames or shift F uh, shift F5. Uh, now one thing uh, with uh, this uh, with this brush uh, is that uh, it is going to stay there. So I'm going to click Control Enter and uh, we are going to have something like this and it is not going to go away. So what we could do, uh, we have a few, few options. One of them is uh, basically we can get rid of this uh, keyframe so I could select them and right now with uh, Shift F5 I can get rid of them. So basically it is just going to disappear like so. So I'm going to click Control Enter and we are going to have it like uh, so. So that's one of the options. Another option I'm going to go back uh, and one more time I'm going to go back uh, is we can just animate this away so I can continue with F6 and move it a little bit in here. F6, move this, F6, move it, move it, move it. And one more time, two more times. Okay. So right now it is just going to uh, disappear. Control enter. And we are going to have this uh, like, uh, like so. Uh, so yeah, this is it. This is all. Uh, in this tutorial, I am not going to show you how you can uh, prepare this uh, for the Google AdWords. I am going to provide the link in the description for the video where I am showing that. But one thing, uh, at least I can show you how you could export this. So I will go to the place where I saved this. And for now, I guess I didn't save this. So what I will have to do is I'm going to hit Ctrl S to save this. And I will go to the, I will have to find my way to the place where I have this very quickly. La 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 self draw hard animate. OK, 
okay tutorial and in here i am going to create a new folder and i am going to call this animate and i will go inside and i'm just going to call this uh, heart and i'm going to click save and right now i can show you that uh, i have the file in there but uh, what is going to happen once you have saved your file and you are going to click ctrl enter to see this uh, in the browser uh, what is going to happen is it's automatically going to publish you some html javascript and images to that place but i do not want to have it in that place so i'm going to delete this one delete this one and delete the images and what i like to do is i want to go to the file publish settings this little icon and right now one more time i do not like this i have to go to that place so it is uh, self draw hard animate tutorial animate and in, in here i'm going to create new folder i can call this index i can call this export i can call it as i want i will go inside and this i saw also i can call index hard.js export.js whatever i can keep it as hard.js i'm going to click save i'm going to click ok and i will go file and i'm going to go publish and right now it is going to publish me this in this index folder and i can go ahead and double click and it is going to open me this in the browser right now I have a browser Firefox for some reasons. Usually I use Google Chrome, but I'm not going to go uh, explain that right now. Why do I have it like so? But yeah, this is it. This is uh, all. Uh, hopefully you have uh, learned something new. Uh, as I said at the beginning, I also created a similar tutorial in After Effects. So if you want, you can go ahead and watch uh, that one. And I also created this tutorial in Spanish. So I'm going to provide the link in the description. So if anyone had watched until the end, you can write me this in the comments. That would mean a lot to me, knowing that someone had watched until the end. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much. I'm not going to waste more of your time. So yeah, have a nice day. Goodbye.